Entrepreneurship is vital for a country's economic development. We have taken a number of measures for startups and they have borne results. India is now the third largest ec ecosystem for startups globally and ra ranks second in innovation quality among middle income countries. I propose to extend the date of incorporation for income tax benefits to startups from 31-3-2023 to 31-3-2024. I further propose to provide the benefit of carry forward of losses on, on change of shareholding of startups from seven years of incorporation to 10 years. To reduce the pendency of appeals at commissioner level, I propose to deploy about 100 joint commissioners for disposal of small appeals. We shall also be more selective in taking up cases for scrutiny of returns already received this year. Better targeting of tax concessions. For better targeting of tax concessions and exemptions, I propose to cap deduction from capital gains on investment in residential house under Section 54 and Section 54F to 10 crores. Another proposal with similar intent is to limit income tax exemption from proceeds of insurance policies with very high value. Rationalization. Honorable Speaker, sir, there are a number of proposals relating to rationalization and simplification. Income of authorities, boards, and commissions set up by statutes of union or state for the purpose of housing, development of cities, towns, and villages, and regulating or reg regulating and developing an activity or matter is proposed to be exempted from income tax. Other me major, major measures in this direction are removing the minimum threshold of 10,000 for TDS and clarifying taxability relating to online gaming. Not treating conversion of gold into electronic gold receipts and vice versa as capital gains. Reducing the TDS rate from 30% to 20% on taxable portion of EPF withdrawals in non-PAN cases and taxation on income for market-linked debentures.